All right, we're back again. How y'all doing? Okay, I want to go over a few little things here. Um, well, well, first let's go with what we're doing. We have tested the, we're going to test the uh, big inverter and small inverter. We're also going to run a circular saw on it, but we're also doing a sizing, okay? You don't want to oversize your system or undersize it. So here's what we're talking about. As far as the uh, solar control charger, I thought I was going to be able to run six solar panels off of it at 40 amps, but I, it is wrong because each one of these 100 watt solar panels is running 7.5 amps, which equals 15, so I'm going to be able to run about five. I was going to buy a 20 amp, hoping I could run four, and that wouldn't have worked either. So <laughs> make sure you check them just because the solar panel says one thing. It's like, I think, six amps or something, five, no, 5.89 or something like that. I have to look again, but, it, but it's underrated on the solar panel and then we hooked it up to the batteries okay we got two of these coming out now don't overpower your power inverters the reason why is the silver one is a thousand watts continuous and the blue one is two thousand watts continuous now what if you want to run a refrigerator light sun like that and you know you're running low volume i would run the little one the reason why is because i ran the vacuum cleaner on both of these the little one ran for, I think, two hours and a half, two hours, 30 minutes. The big one, same vacuum cleaner, same battery, full charge, ran for a total of 45 minutes and ran it down. Now this fan does run all the time on this thing. So that is another thing. So make sure you all size them right. Don't go, oh yeah, I'm gonna get this big one and then try to run like one battery or two batteries or three off of and try to run a circular saw all the time or something like that with, now this circular saw is a total of 15 amps okay so it's got a lot of power coming out of it now what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into the small one first now this one actually surprised me yes i already did this and it actually kicked on that was a plus so that's a pretty good little power inverter right there now we're going to hook it up to 2000 watt one now, like I said, these fans run all the time. This thing does so, show volts and amps coming out of it. And now we'll kick on the big one. And we are having no problem running that. Now that, that circular saw will probably only run for about 15 minutes if we're lucky, maybe five or 10. I guess I can do a test on there and let y'all know how long it'll run on that battery in this setup. Of course, the more batteries we have, the more it's going to run. The more solar panels, the quicker we're going to charge batteries. But I just wanted to show you all that. Now, if you all have any other suggestions, yes, I'm going to run some other things like the refrigerator. I just ain't got around to it because it's going to take a little while. If you all want to see some other tests or anything, throw it in the comments, all right? If you all have any suggestions, throw it in the comments. No issues there. All right. Y'all enjoy. Have a good day, and we'll see you on the next one.